Hello, my Scorpios. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope that you guys are having a wonderful week so far and that you enjoyed your weekend. I am very happy to have you guys here. Um, as you guys already know, this is going to be a general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in this love thing. So just keep in mind that the situation here could be completely reversed. It could be vice versa. I'm not sure who's doing what. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, this could be something happening now in the near future or the future so the readings are timeless i can't even speak today guys um so yeah just keep that in mind so here we go let's get started for you scorpio let's see who or what is coming towards you in this love day let's see scorpio sun moon rising and venus please tap me into the higher selves of scorpio what is coming towards scorpio in love towards Scorpio in love. What is coming towards the Scorpio collective in love sphere? What do you have for Scorpio? What do you have for Scorpio? Oh, okay, that came out pretty quick. All right, abundance. You have abundance, commitment. And I have one more. What is coming towards Scorpio in love? What is coming towards Scorpio in love? The silver waterfall. What is coming towards Scorpio in love? I really didn't find out what the freak that is. All right. The silver waterfall and creativity. Whatever those are supposed to mean. I wish I had the book with me, but I think I left it in my car because I just moved here. Anyway, so here we go. Let me pull some of these cards. what do you have for the scorpio collective in love what is coming towards scorpio what is coming towards scorpio in love money <laughs> scorpio is focused on the money <laughs> uh karma and lessons what is coming towards scorpio in love that could be what creativity is about and the silver waterfall and abundance because maybe a lot of these scorpios are kind of more focused on your money not paying um love too much attention right now you have vulnerable Scorpio, like, where the bag at? <laughs> All right. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Then you have visitor. But nobody better don't freaking show up. Scorpio, somebody's thinking about showing the freak up. angels what is coming towards scorpio in love what do you have for the scorpio collective in love what is coming towards them the eight of wands okay see that's what i was trying to say visitor is kind of making me feel like somebody plans to come see you they want to come over they want to travel to you eight of wands very quick communication it's going to be out of the blue too out of the blue communication this person may live um overseas or something could be connected to a pisces pisces kind of had that that um that distance in their reading so think about long distance in their waiting all right what is coming towards scorpio in love spirit what else you want to show me for scorpio in love what's coming towards scorpio all right the stars in reverse could be connected to an aquarius the eight of swords someone's definitely in their head about you what's coming towards scorpio in love what's coming towards scorpio in love i kind of feel like scorpio oh Okay, strong water so far in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone's missing you, Scorpio. I feel like after you guys have not been together, after this time apart, somebody really has um, a new perspective, okay? They're seeing things differently, Pisces again, okay? And I'm seeing that someone wants to shoot their shot again. For some of you, this could be a new person. Maybe you met them online. But obviously, there was some disappointment here. There was some sadness here, and I do pick up on regret. But since the person is now turning around to see those two of cups, it's like now they want to salvage something um, that they know they had with you in the past. This person may feel as though you are their soulmate, or you may feel as though they are your soulmate. You can have um, children with this person for some of you. But I feel like this is someone who's kind of realizing what the hell they did wrong. Whereas before, maybe they were closed off to it. They were blinded. Somebody's realizing what the freak they did wrong in this situation. 
Um, for some of you, it could be a situation to where they just didn't want to be vulnerable with you. They may have had issues around vulnerability. Or if you're a cross watcher watching for a Scorpio, the Scorpio may have had issues around vulnerability. Because I feel like someone um, tends to be in their head a lot with the Eight of Swords, okay? But whoever the hell this person is, Scorpio, they've been thinking about you a lot. And I feel like this is someone who wants to get closer to you now. Somebody wants to get closer to you now. Because the star upright is like there's a lot of distance between you two. But star in the reverse is like filling in that gap, getting closer to each other. And I do see they want to travel to see you. Whoever this person is, they could be from the past. You could be missing someone from your past. But maybe it may have been um, a missed opportunity. Uh, things could be on hold between you and this person now uh, as well. But it's almost like maybe you guys haven't spoken in some time. Um, and someone in this situation may be feeling like it's a missed opportunity. Like, okay, this is never going to happen. We'll never be able to, you know what I'm saying, um, be together. Or this is never going to get off the ground. Because someone could be having a lack of um, optimism, a lack of faith, a lack of hope in this situation. Okay? Give me one more card. What's coming towards Scorpio and love? Oh, that came out quick. <laughs> you see, Scorpio, they want to fix it. They want to fix it. They want to work on it. I feel like, yeah, this is a motherfucker who was deceptive in the past. For some of you, not all of you. For some of you, they were just lying to you, right? Um, and maybe in, in the past, you may have been ignoring your intuition with this person. But I feel like for the, um, for the majority, this is a situation to where someone may have really kept their feelings a secret, kept their thoughts, emotions, everything a secret, not really t um, showing the other person their hand. Who had that? reading this week somebody had that reading this week i think gemini it could be dealing with a gemini yeah this is somebody who is kind of always avoiding a conversation with you for some of you but with judgment in reverse there's something about the past that obviously needs to be corrected before you guys can be together it's different for everybody but i mean six of cups is here isn't that a cute six of cups look at that <laughs> I love this deck so much. I love this deck so much. I've been using it all week. But yeah, they want to work on it. So hmm. they haven't been able to get you out of their mind, Scorpio. They've been thinking about you and the situation ever since. Okay. Tell me about the Eight of Wands coming towards Scorpio in love. Why is the Eight of Wands coming towards Scorpio in love? Eight of Wands, please. See? Oh, my God. Scorpio. Travel. There's travel involved. There is travel involved in this situation. So somebody wants to see you. I knew that's what the hell I was picking up on. Tell me about Eight of Wands. I'm, I feel like this is somebody who's coming from, like, a very far place. Wanting to see you. I definitely feel like this is somebody who wants to start anew. They want to start a new chapter with you. They want to start anew. Because somebody in this situation, like I said, was very defensive, very guarded, very blocked off. But now, since it's in the reverse, someone's guard is coming down. Tell me about this star in the reverse for Scorpio in love. Tell me about this star in the reverse Ooh, for Scorpio in love. Star in the reverse. Yeah, because see, somebody was very, what the freak? Somebody was in this Queen of Swords energy, which obviously, if this is someone who really hurt you, right? Like with other people, then I I mean, there's, you can't even question this card, why this card would come out. Queen of Swords, cut the motherfucker off. Or somebody has just been very distant, very cold, very detached towards the other person. But I feel like someone in this situation definitely sees the Ten of Cups with the other person. Okay, they see that this is somebody that I want to commit to. This is somebody that I would want to be with, right? But the freak is the problem here. All right, tell me about this Eight of Swords coming towards Scorpio and love. Could I have children with them? I don't know if I said that already. See, this is someone who's been overthinking it, but they have a lot of passion for you. Could be a fire sign. Tell me about the... What is this? The Eight of Swords? Tell me about the Eight of Swords, please. For Scorpio and love. Ooh. Okay. The Knight of Cups. So somebody is definitely um 
getting the cojones, the balls to pursue you, Scorpio, or to come after you, to speak their mind. I feel like this is someone who wants to take you on a date for some of you. I mean, if you want, you don't want this person, at this point, you should really just click off. You know what I'm saying? Because me, I don't watch readings for people I don't want. That's a waste of my time. Makes no sense. All right, tell me about the Five of Cups in the reverse for Scorpio and the Five of Cups reverse. So where there was disappointment, thinking it's a missed opportunity, may have met this person online, Scorpio, or they will contact you using um, like social media or something online. But somebody's at the crossroads here, you know? Like I said, for some of you, they really did betray you. They really did hurt you, okay? But someone's at the crossroads like, do I give this another chance? Do we revisit this or what? Do we work this out or what? Because I think someone does want to work it out with you. Page of Swords. Tell me about the... Some of you could have a choice between two people as well. So <laughs> tell me about the Six of Cups, please, for Scorpio in love. Six of Cups for Scorpio in love. Six of Cups. I feel like this is someone that you may have known for a long time. Wow, this person's missing you. Three of Swords. Oh. <gasps> okay, the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So whoever this person is, they've been really trying to act like they don't have feelings for you. Okay, they've been in denial. And the more they stay away from you, the more it's, it's really killing them. Okay, for some of you. For others of you, like I said, they just have a lot of regret over what they've done to you. Period. And they want to come clean so that you guys can have a new beginning. So that you guys can be together again. That's what the hell they want. So tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. For Scorpio and Love. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you may have met this person at work. Yeah, they did you wrong, boo-boo. They did it. They did you wrong. Could be a Capricorn. The devil, the justice card in the reverse, the six of cups in reverse. Mm -mm -mm. But like so for some of you in the past, this is someone who really had a lot of demons. <laughs> this is somebody who really needed to detach from some kind of toxicity that they had going on. Whether if it was, you know, based on their thinking or maybe drinking, smoking, drugs whatever you name it okay that could be um what the devil is trying to signify here but yeah basically this person probably was pretty toxic to you in the past or somebody was toxic in the past but they just can't get this is someone who just can't get over you guess what's coming out it's cancer so we're gonna keep that for some of you this is somebody who was still kind of holding on to their past okay and that could be why as well they probably were still hung up on an ex or some shit who is this person coming towards Scorpio in love? Who is this person? Festive. Who is this person coming towards Scorpio in love, please? Who is this person coming towards Scorpio in love? No, I missed it. Flashy will take both. Flashy and laws and justice. So it could be your ex-husband, ex-wife. Who is this person coming towards Scorpio in love? They could have a dog or maybe you guys had a dog together. Who is this person coming towards Scorpio? A traveler. See, this is a traveler. Somebody who's overseas or whatever. Who is this person coming to Scorpio in love? I feel like just somebody really wants to meet up with you and see you. Theater. And chef. See, as soon as I shuffle, guess what's at the bottom of the deck? I miss you. All right, what would this person want to say to Scorpio in love, please? What would this person want to say to Scorpio? The feelings I have for you overwhelm me, so I run away to process them, yeah? What, is, what would this person want to say to Scorpio in love? Time, I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? What would this person want to say to Scorpio, please, in love? Within a few months. Yeah, within a few months. Spirit has been giving everyone, like, timelines so far. Fate. Oh, sorry, fear. I want this so badly, but I'm afraid of getting hurt, so I self-sabotage. Love. My heart is opening, and I'm ready. Wow. Okay. All right, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Let me know what's going on. Love you guys so much. See you guys next time.